Hey everybody, welcome back to The Garage. If this is your first time visiting my channel, please click on subscribe and also click on the bell right down there to receive all the updates and activity on my channel. So today we have a product review of this guy right here. <clears throat> it's the Porter Cable 18 gauge uh, Brad Nailer, uh, part number PCC790. So I bought this as a bare tool about two weeks ago. I picked up at Lowe's. I'm already invested in the, uh, the Porter Cable um, platform. So I, I picked this up as a bare tool. This is a 4.0 amp hour battery. Uh, if you buy it as a bare tool, obviously it doesn't come with a battery. So um, the price as a bare tool, it's roughly $149. If you need to buy a battery, you can also buy this as a kit. It's gonna come with a gun, a 2.0 amp hour battery, and a charger. And I believe the retail price on that is, is roughly $199. So with that being said, why don't we go ahead and uh, review the gun. We'll show it in action. Uh, we'll uh, talk about its, its options and, and everything else. And I'll give you my final thoughts and, and, and we'll go from there. All right, so as far as options of this gun, it really is pretty basic. And for the target audience that it's looking to go against, the DIY or homeowner, that's what is to be expected. Um, there is no fuel gauge on the gun to show you indication of charge on the battery. I really wish it had that, but for the most part, um, it is a relatively low energy tool, I guess you'll put it. And it's not like it's like an impact driver or, or a reciprocating saw or something along that line where it's a high draw. So really, battery life really isn't gonna be that major of a concern on there, just because it doesn't use a lot of energy to fire. Um, so as far as options, there is a no mar tip on it. They also give you an extra one here in the magazine clip and it has jam protection. So in the event that you do have a jam, basically you just press that, you release that clip and then you can see the nail and, uh, if it does jam, you can, uh, pull it out and then it just goes, it locks back in. Um, there is an interlock on the handle. So in the event that you want to lock out the trigger, Basically, you just slide that up and that locks out the trigger. Um, as far as the magazine, it's pretty easy to use. You just press on the detent, it opens up, you load your nails, and then when, you, when you're done loading it, you just basically, you, uh, you shut it and then you're done. As far as the back side of the gun, there's really only two things that you really need to be concerned about is this is your depth control. It changes the, uh, the depth of the nail depending on the type of material that you're working with, whether it be hardwood, softwood, stuff like that. And you can use that to change the depth control of the nail. And then the last thing up here is, it's another control for the, uh, for the jam protection. So again, in the event that you have a jam, basically you would flip that lever, open up the clip, and then uh, release the nail. And really, that's it. Um, there are two lights on the bottom of the gun. I'll, I'll show you these in a minute, but these are pretty much useless <laughs> just because if you look Here's where the lights are. Here's where, where the mechanism are You know, you can do the math and, and, and draw your own conclusion And so anyway with that being said why don't we show uh, Set up a couple of pieces of material and we show this thing in action Okay, here's one feature <clears throat> I wanted to uh, talk about if you look there is a light on the bottom of the gun but if you look at the proximity of the light to the where the actual mechanism is you'll see it really doesn't do a very good job of lighting up the work as far as where you're targeting um, so that's a feature that is kind of useless but it is there nonetheless so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and fire some nails in here these are two inch brad nails 18 gauge All right, so as you can see, um, when you depress the gun, there's probably like a half second delay before it fires. But again, this isn't a framing nailer. This isn't a roofing nailer. Um, you really don't need <coughs> bump firing on this. 
because again, you're doing finish work and the, the likelihood of you use, you're doing wrap and fire on a, on a brad nailer or, or a finished nailer is pretty slim. <laughs> That's not why you haven't had a finished nailer or a brad nailer out. But if you look, it has no issues or problems driving through that two uh two by material into this half inch board right now the depth control is is pretty nice it's right below the surface and uh it's doing a nice job all right so what we'll do is we'll set up another uh demo we'll essentially we're going to mimic uh, putting shoe molding into a stud and we'll go from there so what we have next is is some three quarter quarter round material going into a two by four. Essentially this will just mimic if you're putting quarter round up on a ceiling up, uh, as far as a finished trim. All right. So again, no problems driving through that material. And with the depth control set correctly, it's just right below the surface of the material. And the, the hole is relatively small for, for a brad nailer. Um, as opposed to a finish nailer, the, uh, the head from the finish nail will actually leave a, a larger hole that you would have to fill and paint and prime um, before uh, you, know, you call the job done. So that's what's nice about doing it with a brad nailer with two inch brads. Um, it really leaves a small hole in your material. You've seen the gun in action. Why don't we go ahead and <clears throat> wrap this up and I'll give you my final thought. All right, so you've seen the, uh, the gun in action and so why don't we, I'll give you my final thoughts on this. Um, I'm not a carpenter by trade. Um, I do a lot of stuff around my house. And so for what I'm gonna use it for, this will fit, this is gonna fit the need. Um, so I have mixed emotions regarding Porter Cable. Um, if you look at my channel, I pretty much have every tool in their lineup. Um, and for the most part, I like their products. My issue is not with the tools per se, it's really with Porter Cable and their marketing of their warranty. Um, if you look, I, I have a couple videos on my channel that goes into detail and experiences that I've had, but essentially to get to the, you know, the short of it, Porter Cable really doesn't stand behind the warranty, even though it says three years. Um, anything past 90 days, unless they uh, classify it as a manufactured defect, they're not going to do anything for you. I knew that going into this, and, and really why I bought this tool is because I'm already invested in the Porter Cable lineup. And for me to basically go to another platform and essentially replace everything I had, um, it's going to be a substantial amount of money and for the most part for the amount of times I'm going to use this gun I was willing to take the risk and what I actually did is when I bought this tool I actually bought the two-year uh, um, Replacement plan from Lowe's it, it was like 21 bucks um, So because I knew if anything was to happen with this gun Unfortunately Porter K was not going to stand be behind their warranty based on past experiences so if you do go along that line, buy the third party warranty, you'll thank me later. <laughs> so, but in closing, um, for the price point of what this gun is offered for, it does fill a need for the homeowner for occasional use and stuff like that. Uh, is, a, is a professional or a contractor gonna use this gun? No, absolutely not. But if you're invested in the Porter Cable lineup for 20 volt, Go ahead and buy it if you have a need for it. It's it is a it, it is a relatively low cost investment to add a tool into your arsenal. So, with that in closing, if you liked the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and subscribe and also click on the bell to receive all the updates on my channel. If there's any uh, thoughts, questions, concerns, go ahead and leave them in the comments box. I will get back to you as soon as I can. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day. I'll talk to you later. See you on the next one.